What's going on everyone? It's called The Solutions and The Solution to Fitness and today I'll be reviewing Bucked Up by DAS Labs. So we are back at it again with yet another pre-workout review and this one I've been suggested to take a lot. I saw a bunch of comments on the channel especially on my top five pre-workout list. I was pretty excited to try this one out. So for those of you who are unfamiliar on how I do my supplement reviews, I go over the product's ingredients, its effectiveness, its taste, and its price and give an overall score based on those topics. The scores range from one out of five sets, five being the highest, or one out of 10 reps to be more precise. You can also check out my other supplement reviews and my supplement review playlist once you're done checking out this awesome video. And if you're into in-depth supplement reviews, then do not be afraid to bench that subscribe button, to squat that like button, deadlift the share button, and push out that notification bell. Push out, that makes sense. Push out the notification bell to be notified of other future uploads. Now with all that being said, let's get right into the review of Bucked Up by DAS Labs. Let's begin with the claims of Bucked Up. Bucked Up claims to be a game-changing formula. DAS Labs presents Bucked Up, a game-changing formula set to revolutionize pre-workout. This scientifically tested, non-proprietary blend with no fillers is loaded with the most essential ingredients including three growth hormone potentiates to help enhance your workout. So what are the most notable ingredients of Bucked Up? First, big positive to Bucked Up that I just mentioned is that there's no proprietary blends and everything is fully disclosed. The first ingredient we're going to talk about is an ingredient we've talked about many times before and that's citrulline malate which this product is dosed at 6 grams. This is the perfect dosage as I'm usually able to see positive results from 4 grams or more. So yes, 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 then you have 2 grams of beta alanine which is less than I'm used to. Usually around 3.2 grams is what I consider the perfect amount and what most high quality products contain. Caffeine and hydrist is dosed at 200 milligrams, another great dosage here, no complaints there. These are ingredients we've always talked about, so let's get into the more lesser known ingredients. Ingredients such as Alpha Size Alpha GPC dosed at 200 milligrams. This is meant to increase your focus, though it is a bit underdosed. It seems it's made up a little by the 25 milligrams of estrogen. This helps to rapidly increase the absorption of these set ingredients. The last ingredient I feel I should mention since this is something the product is known for and what separates it from other products is the inclusion of deer antler velvet extract. What the heck is that? The deer velvet in Bucked Up is used to boost your strength, performance and endurance. Deer antler velvet is also known to have a positive effect when it comes to increasing your testosterone levels as well. However, with only 50 milligrams, you'll hardly see the full effects. You'll probably need well over 2-3 to three grams for notable results. So the product falls short in that regard and I wouldn't even acknowledge this ingredient if it wasn't touted by DEA Labs. So mentioning that effect, let's start getting into the effectiveness overall. Energy wise, I did receive some pretty decent energy from Bucked Up, though it wasn't quite what I expected. Like I said, I've been waiting a long time to try this product so I was super excited to try this. However, I couldn't help but feel a little disappointed that a product of this price and this reputation didn't really offer the energy that was hyped up by so many. But I'll get into the price in a bit. Don't get it twisted now, I did get energy, the energy kind of slowly kicked in. It didn't hit me out of nowhere like some other products do, and honestly this could be just me, but I prefer when, they, when the products just slap me in the face out of nowhere with energy. But I've had a lot worse, I'm just saying I expected a little more. Especially since I was going two scoops with this. I do have to admit though, I did receive a noticeable pump. My pumps are pretty vascular which is something I did expect with that citrulline dosage. This was probably one of my most favorite things about Bucked Up. As for my focus, it was alright, didn't really expect too much in that department anyway so can't really say I was disappointed. Also I did get that tingling sensation after using two scoops each time. Sometimes I even tried two and a half, but I slowed down with that since I didn't want my money to go to waste too soon. So I just ended up buying another pre-workout to mix with this one, just to get me a, just to get me going a little more in the morning. Anyway, some people may not be fans of the tingles, so I wanted to bring that up. I don't really have an issue with it. The best way I can put it when it comes to the effectiveness is that if you are someone who isn't really 
100% interview workouts, you don't use them that much, you have very little experience with them and pretty sensitive to stimulants, then you'll probably love Bucked Up. But if you've been into Priest for a long time, you use them every day, and you need some, you, you really need some strong stimulants to affect you, then this may not be your cup of pre-workout. Taste-wise, I thought the product tasted pretty good, no complaints there at all. There's currently five flavors as of this recording. Blood Raz, Blue Raz, Grape Gains, Killer OJ, and Watermelon. I was a fan of the Blue Raz, thought it tasted great, did not find much residue at the bottom of the container when using it the suggested way after mixing. I suggested to use one scoop with 6 to 8 ounces of cold water, 15 to 30 minutes before exercise, which is pretty much the most common description with these pre-workouts. It also says not to take more than one scoop because of its potency, but that's a load of crap. <laughs> it's not that serious. Let's not try to compare this with the original Jack Formula or the original Super Pump. It's nothing like that. But taste gets a 5 out of 5 cents. Now as for the price, this is where I feel Bucked Up falls short. The average price for a 30 serving container is $42.95. The only positive to that is that it's 30 servings instead of 20. But even with that, for what the product delivered, I personally think Bucked Up is overpriced. I think it should be priced in the lower to mid 30s if I'm being 100% honest because for that price range or even a little less, I can get something way more effective. So overall, I'm giving Bucked Up by DAS Labs a pretty low 3 out of 5 sets or 5 out of 10 reps. And now here comes the dislikes. The product is fully disclosed, it's not a proprietary blend, which I always appreciate. It's important to know how much of what you're putting in your body. Taste was really good, I'm used to effective products tasting like crap pretty much. But I feel the effect is too minor to justify that price. I've tried a lot stronger for around the same price or even less. Alright guys, that was my review of Bucked Up. I hope you enjoyed it. Not just for the comments that I used to get, this this product had some hardcore fans. So I would appreciate if you guys squat the like button and share this video around to others like I said in the beginning of the video and definitely press that subscribe button guys it really helps out the channel and motivates me to continue to flesh out more stuff for you guys. Once again this is Carl Solutions and if you got a problem I'll help you solve it. Yours is done and your best is yet to come.